So, so I wasn't going to make any video about building a house in Ghana because there are more information online. A lot of people have been videoing their experiences about building in Ghana. But um, having been in Ghana for a while and trying to complete my house, um, there are things that I just have to put in place, put out there for people also to know. So guys, you see, um, this kind of um, a big hole that we, we dug over here has a lot of water in it. Now, why am I saying that? This water is actually coming from the soil. So when I came, I wanted, I was debating whether to do a manhole or do it by biodigester, which biodigester is the modern way of pretty much taking care of the sewage that comes through your toilet. And, and then I look at the soil of the land and it's difficult for me to say I'm going to do um, either biodigest or manhole or what they call septic tank. So I looked around, I went to my neighbors, people who have built over here to kind of find out what the deal is with the biodigest and then the manhole, which one is advisable to see how many people have done it. Some people have done it, but they're not living in the houses yet because I think many of them are abroad. And then those who are living here gave me mixed reviews. So there was one that I talked to that did the biodigest and then the septic tank. He said that he eventually converted the biodigester to septic tank. So what I did was I wanted to make sure I have more information before I do either the biodigester or the septic tank. Now, one advice that I give to everybody that's buying a land, especially those who are abroad, giving money to family members or friends to buy a land because they've seen a land somewhere that is going, you know, at a faster rate, people are buying them, and the place may be well-developed or very affluent area. So they send the money to for them to buy the land. Now, my advice would be before you do that, before you give them the money to buy it, when they go and see the land, tell them to send someone or ask them to check the soil to see whether the soil is um, conducive for building. And secondly, can you actually do the things that you want to do on it? So my land is located at Community 25 in Tema, which is very fast developing area. It's a very good area that you, you, you build a house, there's no problem, like, you have water. I've been here for a while, and water has been flowing with no issues. Light, I haven't had any. I had a power cut may, maybe for one hour, and it came back. But the problem is the soil on the land is terrible. It's a black clay. And the black clay is this black clay that it's when it dries up, it starts to crack. Maybe I'll show you guys some something like that. I'll show you. And there's because of that, the water cannot penetrate the soil when it rains. So it doesn't dry easily. So it becomes like water logs everywhere like and it's very difficult to drive through it now 
you know the situation in Ghana our roads are not paved so by the way that's by the way so but you look and you see the water over there and you begin to think what is going on there's so much water under the soil because of the nature of the soil so we dig the manhole either we wanted to see whether we'll do the manhole the septic tank or we'll do the biodigest but water started coming as soon as we started going deep and the explanation is that there's so much water because this land that does not absorb water easily whichever it's absorbing goes under it retains it doesn't it doesn't kind of goes go down easily so there's much water unfortunately the water is so salty so you can't even use it for anything um so now i am torn whether to do this septic tank or to go with the biodigest so i want some suggestions on this guys if you have any idea how to go about it i will be glad to listen and see how the way forward the soil i was talking about so if you go here we flatten the place so you think it's uh it's okay but here's what i'm talking about if you look closely when it dries up, it starts to crack. You know, the lands, it starts to crack. So if you build a foundation and you don't build it right, what is going to happen is that you're building, you see cracks, you, see, you start seeing some cracks. So that is what has happened. So guys, more advice on how to do the septic tank or to go with the septic tank or to go the biodigest the biodigest issue is also since the, the land cannot absorb a lot of water what's going to happen is if you do if you do that that's also going to be an issue so your advice here is um, is welcome thank you